Welcome back. Air Asia is next in line to enter Vietnam's booming aviation market. It's partnered with local hospitality tycoon Chun Trong Kien to gain a foothold in the highly competitive travel market. But little is known about the man leading one of Vietnam's top integrated travel groups. But in an exclusive interview with Tan Chu Yi about his mission to promote Vietnam to the rest of the world. Two decades earlier, a young tour guide, Chen Chongkian, brought his first tour group to stay at this hotel in Vietnam's royal city, Hue. Today, the 44-year-old owns the hotel, part of his business empire that includes two hotel chains and a network of travel agencies providing guided tours, scenic flights and cruises across Vietnam and Southeast Asia. The CEO of travel conglomerate TMG is now shooting for the skies to launch the low-cost airline AirAsia in Vietnam and tackle what he calls Vietnam's long-standing problem of underselling itself. The idea of going with AirAsia because they have already a fantastic network. I think for me, it's important for me as a person um, coming from Vietnam that we need to be promoting Vietnam. And one thing Vietnam doesn't do very well is we don't promote ourselves very well. In March, Gian and his companies took a 70% stake in AirAsia's 44 million US dollar Vietnam joint venture. Not quite what you'd expect of a trained medical doctor. Gian was studying medicine in Hanoi when he became a part-time tour guide in the 1990s. He started a tour agency in his final year, named it Buffalo Tours, and never looked back. But I didn't have many choices then. then. And I graduated from medical school in 1995. The country had opened, and the choices of working at medical doctors didn't pay very well. I believe at that time, in 1995, a uh, doctor would probably get about $20, $25. That choice paid off. TMG brings nearly 100,000 tourists into the region and hosts more than 200,000 hotel guests a year. Among its investors are World Bank's private sector arm, IFC. Vietnam is not known as the easiest place to do business in the world. It's famous for red tape, for being conservative, for being corrupt. How does a company like a Mr. Kien's TMG get things done and stay clean? I don't think we, we, uh, we, we deny that uh, there would be consultancy work uh, behind the scenes to get it uh, thing done. And, and, but um, I, I, I got to say that Vietnam is not the worst among the countries we're operating in. It's a many worst country. AirAsia hasn't got a license to fly from Vietnam's aviation authorities, but Gien says he's planning a big marketing campaign to compete against incumbents, Vietnam Airlines, Jetstar and Vietjet. Obviously, we have to do something fun. And it's one of the key values at the company is it's fun-loving company. TMG's other key values are hard work and innovation, elements that may or may not keep the company at the top of its game in Vietnam, the world's fastest-growing aviation market today. Tan Chiu Yi, Channel News Asia, Hui, 